What's up Outriders, Amber here, back with another farming guide. In this video, I'll show you a trick to make the best world tier farm in the game even easier by getting the boss stuck in one place. Yes, I'm just standing here, unloading in to this Tyrannus while he is stuck on that bone. And even when I do my gravity leap into him, he is still stuck and he is gone. So let's take a step back and take a look at how to get to this quest. This is the Predator to Prey side quest located in the Forest Enclave. So this is about halfway through the main campaign. Once you unlock that, you can go to the Crystal Camp to pick up the quest. There's also a Monster Hunt quest here, but this one, you go to the ammo box and then take the path to the left of the ammo box and you'll get to the quest giver. Oh, I already did the quest, so I need to turn it in and then pick it up again. And that's one of the reasons this is such a great world tier farm. It's very fast to pick up the quest. And second, all the enemies are beasts. There's perforos and crawlers. There's no human enemies. There's no flying enemies, which makes it easier to do fast. And of course, the more you do it, the faster you'll get. And you can even, if you want, optimize your build to have a faster farming build. I'm kind of just using the same build I was using for the early expeditions for this predator to prey quest. So you might've seen this farm in other videos. I first saw it on Dead Spike's channel. I'll put a link to his YouTube below. Thank you, Dead Spikes, for letting me know about this awesome farm. The approach I'm using, though, might be different than what you want to do. I'm going all the way to the end and then coming backwards to take down these enemies. So there's three areas. The first area that I'm in right now, there's just low-level enemies. There's no alpha perforos. There's no elites. But in the second area here, there's one elite at the very end. So I'm just going to run through all the way to the barrier and let the enemies all come to me and then use my devastator abilities, boulder dash, earthquake, and gravity leap to take them out. This is the one elite in the second area. It's a crawler. And he is down and drops some epic loot. There's also some pretty good loot here as well. And now I'm entering the third area. So they get increasingly more difficult. The first area, it's low level enemies. The second, or I guess the first area, there's no elites. Second area, there's that one elite. And then in this third area, there's not only this elite crawler here, but there are four alpha perforos that you'll also have to contend with. So I'm kind of getting mobbed here, but no problem. <laughs> and again, I'm tanking this because I'm a devastator, but you might have a different strategy depending on what class you're playing, depending what builds you're using, but I'm just face tanking this entire pack. So the elite is down. Now I have to just finish off these alpha perforos. And this is a max level devastator, by the way, level 30. And they're down. And I have leveled up to world tier 10. Awesome. That's why I picked this clip to showcase this. And now the final boss fight where I can show you a trick. So this trick it's a little bit hard to get it to work. I had to practice it a few times, so it might not work every time, but you want to stand right behind the, or I guess right in front of the ammo box there. Stand right near the ammo box and wait for this boss to come to you. And I just wait till he hits me even. So I'm just going to restock, just standing here waiting for the Tyrannus boss to come hit me. And then as soon as he hits me, I run behind him and around and then past that bone there. That's the one he's going to get stuck on. And then I go 
and you can see he's stuck. He's not following me if you look in the mini map. And then when I turn around here, you'll see he's stuck. He didn't follow me. And I'm going to use Boulder Dash to run up to him. And he's trying to get me, but he can't. He's just like on a treadmill. <laughs> so this is the glitch. The boss is kind of like stuck between the rock and that skeleton. And I just happened to see this happen once. And I tried. I, luckily, I was recording it. And so I went back and saw exactly the path that I took so I could repeat it again. And now I'm able to repeat it pretty consistently. But again, it won't always work every single time. So you might have to practice it. And he is almost dead. One more gravity leap. And Tyrannus is down. Oh, and he dropped a legendary. You can see the gold star on my mini map. That was just super lucky that he dropped a legendary right after I leveled up to world tier 10. This boss usually does not drop a legendary, but he usually drops epics. So I just got really lucky here. So don't expect to get a legendary. <laughs> but I just thought this would just be a fun clip to show because not only did I unlock world tier 10, but I also got a legendary drop from this tyrannous boss. And taking out a couple more ads before I can finish the quest there and then you just finish the quest and go back to the quest giver and you can start it again and let's see what gear i got here seismic commander's foot gear this is amber subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks for outriders